hopes and dreams may be, you will emerge from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself, arrange your clothes, Make sure your other devices are turned off so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. The stoic art of accepting and loving whatever is happening. The stoics accept rather than fight every little thing that's happening to them. They believe that if we resist reality, if we think that things are going against us, if we fight with what is, then we will suffer. Therefore, we should not wish for reality to be any different, but accept it as it is. If this is the will of nature, then so be it. That's a maxim the Stoics lived by. Today we have a similar saying, Thy will be done. And it doesn't matter whether we call it God, nature, fortuna, or fate, but we must acknowledge that there's something bigger than us and that we don't control everything around us. Marcus Aurelius put it very nicely when he said, O oh world, I am in tune with every note of thy great harmony. For me, nothing is early, nothing is late, if it be timely for thee. O oh nature, all that thy seasons yield is fruit for me. The art of acquiescence, as it is called, is about the willing acceptance of external events. Accept even what the majority of people would judge as negative or bad. Epictetus says that as philosophers we should adapt to whatever happens so that nothing happens against our will and nothing that we wish for fails to happen. Bring your will into harmony with what's going on. Fate leads the willing and drags along the reluctant, as Seneca put it. Do you remember a dog leashed to the cart metaphor? This is a famous metaphor that the Stoics talk about. The dog can either enjoy the ride and run smoothly alongside the cart, or he can stubbornly resist the direction of the cart while being dragged behind anyway. In other words, if we resist what happens, then we get dragged just like that dog. And this is called suffering. Does that sound familiar to you? Have you resisted in your life? It's much smarter to accept reality and focus where our power lies. As we've seen earlier in the studies of Stoicism, the hallmark of an admirable poker player is that he or she plays the best regardless of the hand they are dealt. In the end, not the one with the objectively best cards, but the one who plays his cards best wins. And now for part two of this meditation where we will be going deeper to really reprogram your subconscious mind for optimum result. This longer, extended version is only available to members of my YouTube channel. So thank you for listening all along, 
and I look forward to reading your comments as you please like and share with your friends on social media. Goodbye for now.